How's it going guys, it's Aparicio, and today I'm going to show you how to use the face refinement tool in DaVinci Resolve. I think it's underutilized and I think you're going to want to see why you need to be using it. And if you're new here, subscribe, it would be cool. Alright, let's jump right into it. Here we are in the color page. Now let's look at this shot. You always want to look at the shot. Make sure you go to the frame that's the sharpest. Obviously we want this tool to be working at its best. So let's just go ahead and add our, just type in REF for refinement, drag in face refinement in a node, probably after your correction or your grade. If you look at this shot, it looks nice, but everything just looks better in the neck and in the shoulders, like it looks more rich. My light just died. Okay, got that back on. Um, anyway, so let me run you through it and show you how it works. So. Uh, let's go up here to the top right and let's click analyze and it's going to kind of map out kind of analyze the face put a mask around it it's going to analyze back and forth or go through the whole thing all right and then go back to your frame your hero frame and go ahead and click here to show overlay just to take off the uh, overlay so you can turn it on turn it off cool so when working with the face refinement, you're going to want to make sure this down here is on open effects overlay. Let's just clarify that. But let's jump down here to texture and let's go ahead and you could put it up and down to smooth out the texture or make it a little bit rougher. I'm going to put it up a little bit and then you can leave the scale. All right. Now this is where I really wanted to look over is the color grading portion of it. I just want to kind of make her face pop in the shot more, right? Let's add a little more contrast in the face. And we can up the midtone slightly so you can affect your midtone, you can affect the contrast. Only focus on her face so it's perfect. And let's go ahead and give it a color boost. And now it kind of seems like it's matching the rest of her body. The tint. Um, let's go to our vector scope and if you can see when we move our tint it kind of sways the skin tones back and forth we're gonna leave it right here this seems like the perfect spot and then if you're noticing and you don't want any color kind of depends what look you're going for but if you don't want any uh, color in your shadows you can desaturate it so if you can see here that's what we're doing I'll do it a little bit and I'll put my color boost up a little more since we took that out of the shadows. All right, so you're familiar with all that. You could remove some shine if there's heavy shine in the shot. This shot is fine. I like the way it is. So I'm not gonna do shine removal. Uh, now this is where you can kind of make the shot stand out a lot more. You go to eye retouching and you sharpen the eyes a little bit, a tiny bit, just a tiny bit and then you brighten them up also. If you do too much, you see what happens. So we're gonna brighten the eyes a little bit. And then I like kind of, it'll highlight around the eyes just to make it stand out more. We'll do it a little bit. And let's remove some of the eye bags, just a little bit. You wanna stay subtle in this, uh, the face refinement or else it won't look natural. Okay, and then you can go to lip retouching and you can change the hue of the lips, the saturation of that hue, and you can smooth out the upper lip. Maybe she has a mustache, I don't know. But you can smooth it up, I'll do it a little bit. We'll put the saturation of her lips up, how about that? And then let's go to blush retouching. Let's add a little bit more blush. I like that right there. So we added some nice blush, okay? forehead retouching let's just make it smoother i don't want to mess with the colors cool not too smooth where it's unnatural and you're like whoa chin retouching um you can make the chin a little bit more have a little bit more magenta in it and maybe put up the saturation if the saturation starts to fall off when it gets to the chin perfect and then you can blend it in to what it used to look like and whoa whoa it's like night and day now the old shot is starting to look scary to me. That's no disrespect. It was just, it was so sharp and so dull because of the uh, environment. The forehead is a little too smooth. So you go back, you turn that down a little bit. There you go. Now it looks more natural. 
And then if you come up here to skin mask, and let's zoom into the face, um, you can kind of refine the mask size and the blurriness of the mask. That can help in many cases. Uh, I'm not gonna do that right now. So we go off and on with our face refinement. And it's just loads better. Personally for me, I'm gonna go back to the texture and bring it back down a little bit to make it look more realistic. It was a little too smooth. I believe we've just successfully uh, refined the face, if you will. I think it looks sexy. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you're still here, you're a trooper. And subscribe for weekly DaVinci Resolve content. Um, with that being said, I will see you in the next one.